What up there YouTube, yes yeah, it's your boy Danny the MBK Vapor back again with another video and today we are looking at a disposable vape. Um, I, I have actually purchased this for this video, I'm, do I want to call it a review? I want to actually call it is it the hype video, as you can see behind me this is what I'm actually going to be re uh, testing or seeing if it is the hype because um, at work we, we sell absolute boatloads of these. And I just want to see if it is all the hype it, it, what people are making it out to be and why people are rushing to them. So yes, we're looking at these, but what well, this one today. Um, the Geek Bar, and I've, I've got the Passion Fruit one and uh, we'll go through all the specs and that in a bit. But we all, what we have to do is always have to go on and do uh, the intro. So we got some uh, specs up for you first then guys, so this is basically what it says, 575 plus equivalent of 48 cigarettes, based on a uh, radius lab results, each draw lasts for 1.5 seconds. Now I know I draw for a bit longer than 1.5 seconds, so yeah, it's it's one of them, you, can, you can't do that just by one person or I don't I would like to see the figures of how many people actually um, what's the word how many people they actually use for to get this number for 90% um, additional puffs than other bars and you can see Geek Bar's got double of the amount and it says uh, safe and hygienic uh, FDA food grade shell uh, yeah what else have we got? We've got the stuff on the inside as well. So it is 500 mAh high voltage battery, 20% more than uh, than regular. Uh, I'm guessing that's just against other disposable devices. Uh, high qual uh, quality organic cotton, food grade material, uh, FDA certified. Um, Crystal clear outer shell. I'll show you that when we actually get to the actual camera bits in a bit. And diamond shaped enhanced physical appearance. Okay. And it tells you that the first 10, 10 puffs are the more, it's more powerful than other um, disposables. And it's con consistent taste all the way through and until it comes to the end of the, the battery performance and the time and the, the end of the juice. Don't forget that guys, these are only 2mm. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the camera now. So yeah, that was the specs of this uh, disposable uh, device. Like it says in, in the uh, in that little bit there, 575 puffs. I don't know how that you got that number, how many people was involved in testing to get that number. And to me, 1.5 seconds of a draw isn't that long, to be honest. I'm more of a three to four second drag per per uh, per, uh, per drag um, but yeah as you can see I haven't opened this yet you can see it's still sealed all the way around and I said like I said I purchased this from work the other day so just to show you I am going to open this up now there we go uh, da, da, da. let's get this open so it's actually it comes out like this. So it's, good. so it's in a sealed uh, unit and stuff like that. I think that's quite good so it doesn't leak everywhere if it does leak or it's uh, just so it's more hygienic I'm guessing. So let's open it up. It is covered top and bottom. The other, the other bits in there, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. That's come off the bottom. And you do get like a mouth covers. I'm guessing it's so it doesn't leak or it doesn't go stale or whatnot. Uh, so this is get my face out of it again. So this is the actual design of it. Tells you on the back what flavour it is. Just there as well. There's an airflow at the bottom and there's a light at the bottom here as well. 
obviously the mouth part. There we go, and that is that's the geek bar. That's that's all you. That's all there is to it. But I want to see if it is all the rage with the flavour, uh, the nicotine hit and stuff like that. I want to see why these people are bought, bought, buying so many of these. I'll, I'll, we get people in the shop buying five, six, seven at a time. And you know they're not they're not like expensive expensive but you're thinking for two millivee liquid and you're getting them for like six pound or five pound depending where you go um, it does become a bit more expensive and two mil at five pound is just bizarre for me and I bought it and it, it's uh, triggered me a little bit so we're gonna try it now so like I said I've got the passion fruit one let's give it a go. Got my chest a little bit. So the flavour is not bad. I can actually taste the passion fruit. It reminds me of a passion fruit yogurt. That's the first thing that actually comes straight to my head with this. Um, the draw is actually uh, a, a pretty decent draw. I don't know. I, I, I can't see the actual point in this at all, to be quite honest with you. Uh, waste of what, what, what was it? Five five quid, <laughs> to be honest, because I probably won't use it after after this. Um, Flavour's okay. I wouldn't say it's like mega decent. Um, I've had better flavour off the True Tank or off uh, the MD R RTA by Hell Vape. Um, I've had better flavour off a bit of Nautilus Tank. To be fair, it it's nothing special, guys. It really isn't. So I don't get what the hype is. One thing I can say about these is, if you're a very, what's the word I'm looking for, if you're very unsure about vaping and you don't want to splash out on a vape device, um, but you want to give vaping a try and you, you, you smoke something like um, 20 to 30 a day, and because Apparently you can get these in tens and fives, but we haven't seen them anywhere in wholesales or in wholesalers or anything like that. But if you can get them strengths, if you don't smoke as much, but you can draw it, draw it that way. It's it's a cheaper way of trying to get if it's vaping's for you. Um, but I can't see. I don't. I, I don't see the rave about them. Why they get? Why that? Why have they got so popular? over the last couple of few months or month or so um, like I said there's they do loads of flavors there's like a lemon tart there's a blueberry ice I'll, I'll pick the passion fruit because this is one that sells quite the most in our shop it's getting the back I'm getting a tickle in the back of my throat um, and I know I'm going to get a headache off this because Nick Salts don't really agree with me because I get headaches from, from them. Um, but yeah, I can't see why it is so popular, to be really honest with you. Um, but I can see um, why vape shops stock them. This is what, why, why we stock them really. So if a smoker wants to quit, the, the, they don't have to buy a complete kit and... and Say after a week, say no, it's not for me. Chuck it in the drawer, and they've just wasted for, uh, thirty to seventy quid, depending on what sort of device that they have. Um, it's five to six quid, some, or you know, you know what I mean. And they can give vaping a try, see if it is for them. Um, and that's probably the only thing I can actually think about it. Another reason they're buying this, it's like. If you're going on holiday, I know we can't actually do that at this moment in time, 
But if you go on holiday, you can take something like this into the airport, nip outside, have a bath, finish it off, put it in the bin. You don't have to carry it on to the. Uh, you don't have to carry anything in your. Uh, what do you call it? Your hand luggage. Everything can be in your actual luggage, so it's nice and safe in there, or gets lost. One of them. Um, and the the only other thing I could think of about people using them is going out to the pub or going out to a nightclub and they don't want to take the expensive mods out and they can pick up one of these and have this for the night and stuff like that because that will actually do like 48 cigarettes apparently um, and I can see them using it for that sort of, sort of thing but when people come in and buy them for a daily use I don't see why they actually do that I really don't but hey ho um, it's people's choice at the end of the day what do I rate it? Yeah, they're good for the purpose of what I've said. Like, if you don't, if you don't know if vaping's for you, if uh, you're going out and you don't want to take your big expensive mod out with you or your small expensive mod, it all depends. Um, the airport stuff like that, really. I can't really see, see me. Oh, for me personally, I couldn't use one of these daily. To be honest. It, probably cost me just as much as smoking did back in the day now when I was smoking back then um, but yeah geek bar it's up to you if you have tried a geek bar let me know down in the comments I'd like to get your thoughts on geek bars on on disposables in general um, I don't want to I know I want to know your uh, thoughts opinions and stuff like that other than that guys that is it from me today i've rambled on a little bit too much don't forget to like share and subscribe all links are down there in the description as always to all the social medias get over to the facebook group get, become a member and don't forget to go onto the facebook page that's where i'll keep all the updates if there's going to be a live show or not or if there's going to be reviews or not and yeah don't forget i've got tiktok as well um little bits of that will go on onto there other than that, guys, that's it from me today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao a bit.